We'll turn now to the fatal mix-up at a Chicago hospital. The wrong family making the heart-wrenching decision to remove life support on someone who was not actually their family member. Tonight, those families blaming police for misidentifying a critically injured man. ABC's Alex Perez picks it up from here. This Chicago man was badly beaten and found unconscious by police. Hospitalized and on life support, authorities used mugshots in May to determine he was Rosie Brooks' missing brother, Alfonso Bennett. But she immediately told doctors something didn't seem right. I said, Doc, I understand what you're saying, but I cannot recognize him as my brother. Showing no signs of improvement, Brooks and her family made the excruciating decision to take him off of life support. But as they prepared for his funeral, Alfonso Bennett, very much alive and well, walked into a friend's barbecue. She said, he's here, he's alive. It turns out the missing man was actually Elijah Britman, fingerprints from the morgue eventually revealing his true identity. It wasn't just, I just searched for him one day, it was every day. Both families is now coming together, filing a wrongful death lawsuit against Chicago and the hospital that handled the case. The bottom line is, is that this mistaken identity situation was something that we very much think could have easily been avoided. Cecilia, tonight, neither the city nor the hospital commenting on that lawsuit. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.